Hi everybody. Well, we're going to have a little Sarah rant here, and uh, I'm back from my hazy, hot, humid walk, waiting for the shower to become vacated. So I thought I'd do this little quickie video because um, this is the stuff that that like makes me crazy. Okay, so I'm covering up. This was in not in Men's Health. It was in TV Guide. Okay. So, see how it says lose weight? $12 a day? That's a lot of money. All right. So just take a look at the foods. Now they show a little bit of a salad on this one. But look at the rest of it. Carbs. 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 Carbs carbs. Wow. Trying to get you to sign on to this because, you know, if this was a um, marketing class, would this ad get an A? How many people would make the call seeing all that garbage and thinking, wow, I can still have all those standard American diet items and lose weight with this company for $12 a day. Okay. Would you do it? Now, you get your free FedEx. It's delivered right to your door. Some of you maybe have been on this plan. Did it work? Did you enjoy the fact that you could have the carbs? And here it calls, it says, an easy-to-follow plan that provides the right balance of proteins, good carbs, and fats. And it keeps your blood sugar levels stable, and it curbs hunger. Okay, so what happens if you do do that food plan, and you spend all that money, and you lose the weight? How are you going to keep doing that with real food? the kind of food that you buy at the grocery store and not keep buying from them. Would the, the average American person not gain weight after doing that, gain their weight back? This is the sort of thing that a lot of us have done on our way to get to where we are today. Either we're, we're doing Weight Watchers now, where you have to figure out your own food, which is good, or you're doing low carb, high fat, or keto, and or keto, which I'm doing my own hybrid of both of those. And so there's no grains in my food plan. There's no sugar in my food plan. There's two to four ounces of fruit in my food plan a day. That's it. It's weighed, it's measured, it's packed. And so it's tracked, it's packed, and I'm not playing with things like this. This is the sort of thing that really, really scares me because if you're opening up little packages from breakfast through snacks, through lunch, through snacks, through dinner, through another snack, are you learning anything? And when you go to substitute the fake food that you've been eating with that program for $12 a day to real food, how do you make the transition? How do you make the transition? Do you think they're going to coach you at this company on how to eat real food after you've stopped buying the food from them? No, they're not going to be, there's not going to be a consultation team. Do you think these people are looking online for Facebooks or YouTubes that show how to eat regular after being on a food plan like that? I don't know. I just like it the way that it's ended up for me and most of you here, where you learn as you go your own foods in your that you've picked out, that you've brought home, that you've put away, didn't come by FedEx, FedEx freezer, fat flash drive, or something. Just, it sounds gross. I mean, you've learned how to eat maybe a real egg. You've learned how to have a salad with darker lettuces. You've learned how to have 
homemade salad dressing at home instead of all the chemicals in it. And by the way, disclosure, I bought the Kraft salad dressing and it never really tasted good, so I haven't had it since, so it's not like I'm still having it. Mm -hmm. Back to just the olive oil, thank you very much. So, you know, did you do this, um, this company or maybe another company like it? Did you learn tips along the way? I'm just curious. Did you learn tips? Did it keep you? Did it keep you at maintenance at the goal weight that you attained after you stopped it? Or did you struggle a lot mentally, emotionally, and um, food-wise with finding things that worked? Just curious. Would you do it again? Did, does an ad like this does an ad like this hold an allure to you? Is there something about this ad that you would go back to if you've been doing the low-carb, high-fat keto plan, for example? Would you go back into grains and think that this is going to work for you this time? Have you noticed as you've aged and gotten older that your di digestive system has changed and things that you could get away with you don't get away with now? That was part of what happened to me. That was part of what made the grains and the sugar so easy because as, as I find in the warmer, humid months, my stomach bloats with humidity. It just does, always has, probably always will. And so I've learned to live with it, but I know that not having grains has made a huge difference, a huge difference. I still bloat from the humidity, but it's not, it's not like how it was. So, I will not be trading food plans, diet plans, and joining up this company for $12 a day and having it FedExed to my door free. I won't. So, no recurring charges on my visa, thank you very much. Anyway, just a little rant. Thanks so much for watching. Bye-bye for now.